Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Poke Gems. All right, guys, another awesome, easy step-by-step -step drawing tutorial. Who are we drawing, guys? We're drawing another Disney princess. It's Cinderella today. But before we get started, guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of my other pictures. All right, guys, let's get started. Like I do before, like I always tell you, I always start with pencil, guys. I don't know about you, but I do a lot of erasing. I mean, I look back and I look at things and I say, I need to change this. I need to change that. And if I were to start with a marker, guess what? That wouldn't work. So here we go with the pencil. As always on my people, I do start with the eyes, guys. Just a simple eye, a nice simple oval with the pointy edges. Uh, I'm going to do something different on the eyebrows today, guys. You see how much I made them a little bit bigger than usual? We're going to try that. We're going to color that in later with marker and see how that turns out. Just a small little nose. Um, I think in this case, the biggest thing is going to be the coloring, uh, the hair. So we're not going to we're not going to worry too much about the mouth. Uh, we're just going to give her a nice a nice princess Cinderella smile, is what we're going to do here, guys. Um, it's going to be simple, just a simple face. Uh, and then we're going to start the outline of the face, the cheeks, uh, the hair, and uh, we'll work with it together. And every time we come up with something that we don't like, like here, you know, we'll erase it a little bit, change it. And uh, I think at the end, I think you guys will like the final product at the end. When you're doing a face, kind of keep both sides in mind the whole time. You know, you want to keep it even. Uh, with Cinderella, we're going to give her a nice, beautiful, swooping hairstyle. So we're going to kind of start with that at the top and just kind of work it and, and see where we can go with that. Just a nice, big, swooping hairstyle. Like I said, guys, this is just a simple pencil sketch. You definitely do not need to be perfect. Um, at the end, if you want to make any changes, erasings, we're going to do that at the end before we go over it with the marker. So this is just a, a really, really easy, simple pencil sketch just to give you guys an idea. And you can kind of do your own thing here. I mean, this is what I did with the hair. Um, you guys can make it go a little bit wider, make it go a little bit bigger. Um, this, this way, um, in, in this case, it's just basically the face and just part of the body uh, we're going to give the top of the dress just a really big poofy shoulders here have the arms come down and that's basically it kind of do that a little bit give her a nice neckline uh, do that on the other side and we're pretty pretty close to being done with that simple pencil sketch guys what i'm going to do here is i'm going to look at it one more time here i'm going to go back i'm going to fix the hair a little bit make a couple other little changes to the face Give her a little bit more of a smile, and I think it looks good. Guys, the next thing we're going to do now is go over everything with the black marker. I think in this case, I am happy with what came out, and then we'll take that black marker and go over everything. Guys, you can use any kind. I use a paper mate marker here. Feel free to use a Sharpie. Basically anything. Go over your pencil. Uh, once you're done going over your pencil with the marker, then you can go through. Give it a minute or two to dry. Uh, any kind of marker you use, guys, that's one thing I can tell you, just a little tidbit. Even if you use a Sharpie, if you go over it right away with your hand or with an eraser, guys, unfortunately, it will smudge a little bit. So give, give your drawings a minute or two to dry. Kind of pick up the paper, wave it a little bit, blow on it a little bit, just to let it dry out before so you don't get that smudging. Uh, and then you should be good. So let's continue with the uh, tracing here.
all right guys that's basically it with the tracing like i said give it a couple minutes take your eraser erase any leftover pencil and then like i told you guys the other day i use a nice dry brush to kind of get rid of all those little eraser shavings that way you have no chance of smudging and you're basically done guys what i'm gonna do now is pick out some colors i'm gonna use like a dark blue on the outside of the hairband and the dress we're gonna do two colors of yellow a dark and light in the hair a little bit of a of a rosy pink and that's basically it. I got my pencils ready. In this case, I'm using the Crayola pencils. Guys, what I did here is I am going to increase the speed of the video. That way, you don't have to sit here for 10 or 15 minutes watching me color. But this gives you an idea. Um, what I like to do, if you see, is I'm going to take two blue pencils here. I'm going to take a darker blue and a lighter blue. This gives it a really nice shadow effect. I mean, you could do all of it in one color. But I personally like the way it looks when it's done when you take a darker blue for example like we're doing blue on the dress here so we'll outline it in blue and then color in the inside with the same kind of going from a darker to lighter and then we'll go over the whole thing with a second colored pencil even lighter than that so that really gives you that shaded look going from dark to light uh, it makes it look really nice but like i said if you guys use crayons here to color if you guys use markers it's totally up to you basically guys do whatever you like i'm just giving you an idea of, uh, of the way that i like to do it the other thing you could do too is once you're done you could do a little smudging especially if you're using colored pencils you can use a smudging cloth some people use a cotton swap a piece of cotton use your fingers whatever guys make that make those shadows kind of go from darker to lighter and it really will make your your painting pop out of the uh, paper The other thing you guys see me doing here is most of the time when I'm doing my coloring, I'm using the side of the pencil. I mean, you can use the uh, tip of the pencil, but that'll just give you one dark line. If you use the side, you can really adjust the way that you press down. So when I want to go darker, I'm basically pressing down a little bit harder. Like in this case, I'm doing that little band around her neck. You see me using that same color, but all I did is press down a little bit harder. Some of those black parts, like the uh, top of the eyes, the earring there, um, I could have used a black colored pencil, but I really want that black to pop, so I'm going to use the marker. Uh, same thing with the eyelashes. Just make them uneven, guys. Make it look natural. Just a couple underneath the eye. It makes those eyes look so really nice and natural. Let's continue, guys, with the blue, with the headband. I'm going to do the same thing here as I did with the dress. Once again, outline it a little bit darker. Press down a little bit harder, and then press down lighter and use that lighter color blue marker. Uh, I'm sorry, lighter color colored pencil. Uh, to give it that nice blue to match her nice blue dress. All right, guys, let's do the inside of the eyes with just a beautiful Cinderella blue. And then we'll take our other blue marker other blue colored pencil just to really highlight that and then we'll do the black on the pupils leaving a tiny bit a tiny little guys that's another trick i can teach you is when you're coloring pupils leave one tiny little dot in white just gives it that really beautiful pop all right let's move on to the hair same thing here basically we're going to take two colored pencils we're going to take a darker yellow and then go around the edges and then we'll take that lighter yellow and continue through the inside make some uh, some hairs in between just to give it a really natural look again if you guys are using crayon using marker feel free to go over it a few times that'll make it look really nice
All right, the last thing we're gonna do is use kind of a, it's kind of a peach orange color for the skin, and we should be almost done. Guys, when you get a chance after this video, please check out my other drawings. I did Olaf the other day, we did a couple other drawings. The link should be right there in the top corner, and that should be it, guys. We're pretty much done with this painting. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, go over a little bit more if you need to. Guys, here are the colors that I used. Like I said, in this case, I used colored pencils. I used one marker. The materials were pretty simple for this. Uh, feel free to use some crayons. Feel free to use markers. Whatever you guys feel good with. But uh, go with that, guys. Pause the video whenever you need to. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hey, don't forget all of the pictures I show you guys, I also post on my TikTok. So please follow Pokey Gems on TikTok. I also post pictures daily on Instagram. Guys, hit that subscribe button. We are going to be posting regularly on YouTube, and we'll see you on the next one.